Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we are going to design an interaction for a music app using some cool tricks and the newly launched Figma feature called interactive variants. So before we get to the video, I'm going to talk about my site startup called SwiftCV if you haven't heard it already. So it's a platform where you can create your professional resume websites as well as add projects and portfolios to it. So if you're looking for something easy and quick to set up and you want to create your professional websites, you can go to SwiftCV.com. I'll link it below and you can create your websites in just minutes. And we also have LinkedIn import feature. So you can directly import your LinkedIn data into the website um, in just few minutes and it'll be up and running in few minutes. So do check it out. It's get it's almost free to get started with. Most of the features are free. So just check it out. I'll link it below. And yeah, let's get started with our video. So a quick disclaimer guys, to work out this interaction that I'm going to show in this video, you need to have interactive uh, variants available on your Figma client. So if you're using a Figma desktop app or you're using a Figma on the browser, it should be enabled for your specific ID. Now um, since it's a beta release, it's not available for everyone. Uh, only the members can have access to it, but you can also request access. So it's a very simple procedure to get access to it. So just search interactive component Figma on Google and you'll end up on a page like this. And what you can do is you can click on this link, the first link, I'll maybe also link it below in the description. So you can click on this link and you will end up in a Google form like this. Here you have to add your Figma email account and just submit this form. And if you are a Figma community member, uh, I think you will get the access immediately. If you are not, then it might take like a day or two or maybe a week for you to get access but this is the way to get access to it uh, you'll not see this feature until you have the access enabled on your id so do request it here and yeah that's how you get it and let's start the video from figma so guys right now we are in figma and before we start um, i would highly recommend you to learn more about variants if you don't know about them already but in a small gist if i can tell you about them uh, variants are basically states of a same component. So for example, if you have a button, now button can exist in different state. For example, in hover state, it could also be um, pressed, it could also be disabled, it could also be in neutral state, right? So a button can exist in all these four different states. So these four different states of a button becomes the variant of that particular component, right? So this is a small gist about how variance is. Now what Figma has allowed is that you can now uh, prototype between these variants itself so you need not to do um, different artboards you need not to move between different artboards you can quickly have these variants set up and you can animate between these variants itself and what it opens up is a vast variety of um, new interactions that you can do in a single artboard rather than moving between different artboards that was used that was not possible before so that's what variant does um, I know it might sound a little bit confusing but I would highly recommend you to search on internet and see how uh, different people are explaining the variants. I'll also do it in my upcoming videos, but you should definitely learn more about them. Okay, that's out of the way. Let me quickly show you uh, the UI that I have already built up and what are we going to animate today. So uh, as you can see, this is the um, artboard. It's an iPhone 11 Pro Max artboard and I have set up a quick UI here for a music app and it has the same typical components so let me quickly run you through all the components so on top you have a status bar then you have three buttons on top uh, one is to minimize the screen and basically go to the home screen then you have to uh, an option to wishlist it basically uh, add it to your uh, listening playlist then the second option is to share it then you have a big background image um, which is here I'll show you here. So it, the background image is still here and on top of it, there is an overlay and on top of that gray gradient overlay, you have the text, you have the name of the artist, you have the name of the song and basically some more data like 10 million listens and US top chart, right? So this section ends here and uh, the middle section that you see this is where I have kept this white bar is where I'm going to put an animated 
a sound wave which is very typical on music apps so i'm going to replace this uh, rectangular bar with that sound wave i'll show you how we are going to animate that and you have a time like the total duration of the music and you have bunch of controls here so one is play and pause so play is here pause is below i'll uh, animate between these two as well then you have next uh, previous shuffle and liking of the entire thing and then you have the uh, swipe indicator below so guys always uh, include your uh, top status bar and swipe indicator in your designs because that accounts for the total available screen on the um, artboard right so yeah this is the overall ui and we are going to animate two things one is this we are going to create a sound bar here and going to animate it via interactive components interactive variants and then this play and pause button okay guys so now the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a sound bars here so what are we going to do is i want to create the sound bars uh, in this area and i'm going to change this height so just for reference to know how big we want the sound bars to be so we are creating going to create sound waves here and we are going to animate them so somewhere around 366 should be the width of those sound bars like the total sound waves that we are going to create and um, something like 70 could be our height okay so this is the reference in this area we want the sound waves to move okay so what i'm going to do first is i am going to create a frame so i hit a and i'm going to create a frame the same reference size that we have here so i'm going to change the width to 366 and the height to 80 okay perfect um so now we have created a frame and we can remove this basically okay now this is the reference we want the waves to be here now to create the waves it's really simple what you can do is uh, you can create a rectangle like this um maybe width should be 6 and height should be 60 and round it off so round it corners like this okay and what i'm going to do is just now duplicate it and just do command d command d and just duplicate it a bunch of times and what you're going to do is just randomly make something small or something bigger okay so like this 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 okay just quickly make them some size and uh, what you can do is just select them after that like for example i've just done for these ones and just center align them so it'll look like this is exact pattern so let me quickly do that for all of them and we want to make them quite bigger like at least three times the size of this frame so that it keeps on moving while the song is playing so that mimics that the song is being playing and this is moving uh, in front of it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create this sound waves in the same way and i'll get back to you quickly so guys what i have done is i have created the sound waves so if you see i have created this big sound wave and it's quite bigger than the frame itself it's almost like three times the frame and i have just added these zigzag patterns like made some rectangles smaller some one bigger so now it uh, mimics the sound wave pattern and what will happen is in this frame area that you're seeing it will keep on moving so as the song progresses in a typical music app you see this sound waves progress right so this is going to mimic that um if you see frame i have removed the i have unchecked the clip content option if you do clip content so you'll only be see this this much area of the entire thing so toggle between clip content and you will know how much area is what you want to see in the app so yeah so now we have the sound waves and i've grouped them together and all of these are looking like this now um let's just rename it i'm just going to call it start okay and what we're going to do is now we're going to create variants of it so variant basically means is that um since we can animate between variants so what will happen is i'll create this one where this uh, sound wave is starting to move and i'll create another variant where the sound wave has ended so basically that an animate between them so that it looks like that the music is uh, the sound wave is moving along with the music now what we need to do is just duplicate this by hitting command d okay 
yeah and you select the sound wave and what we want to do is we want to move these sound wave to the end so we're going to move it in the left i'm going to show you here so we want to move it this side so this will become the end i'm going to rename it to end uh, enable clip content again select the sound wave again and just move it out in the left okay so that nothing is different so it starts from here ends here so it's here actually it's moved out of the screen so i'll select the first artboard that contains the sound wave and convert it into a component so hit create component and your component is created so hit create component again and what will done is it will create another component like this the start is there end is here now we have two components so in one way in one the wave is starting in the another one the wave is ending actually what i'll also do is i'll uh, move it a little bit behind on the right side so that it gets more time to move on the left yeah so this is how it is okay start is here end is here and the sound wave here is ended and in the start the sound wave is just starting up to enter in the frame okay um, so now we have two components ready uh, before we do anything i'm going to show you a quick nice trick actually that we are going to use in this one so for what that i'll do is i'll just bring this in for now and what i'll do is i'll create a rectangle again in this same frame like this okay so the idea is that uh, in all these music player you see that when this sound song moves ahead uh, it fills some portion of it as the song progresses so not the entire uh, thing gets filled up immediately you will see uh, only those areas that the song has covered that portion of the sound waves get covered or get filled into a new color so i'll show you uh, what i mean so for example i've created this rectangle here and i'm gonna call it uh, fill okay and i'm gonna change the color to green okay so here's the trick that i'm going so watch it really carefully now uh, what i'm gonna do is for this fill i'm gonna change the property from pass through to color burn okay so what will happen is now if you see the background is behind is white and i have applied color burn so you can't see anything but watch what will happen when i move the wave ahead see so basically what is happening is where is the wave interacting with the rectangle uh, because of the color burn property the wave is getting that green color so it will give us this nice effect of that when the sound wave moves along with the song it gets progresses like this right and again reiterating the trick this fill rectangle has a color burn option if you do it pass through and if i move it on top of it it will not do anything but if i change it to color burn now what will happen is when i move the waves it will fill only the area which is intersecting so this will give us, us the nice exact same effect that you see on the music player only the portion that is being already covered on the song gets filled up so to do this effect we have done this okay now i'll go back again to the same thing i'll move this back and since we have added this in the start component we need to add it again in the end component okay so that it uh, remains the same so that even in the end uh, it fills up the things which is moving here okay so now uh, you got the trick about the color burn option so start and end is here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these two components both okay and as soon as you select these two components you will see an option in the right saying combine them as variants so if i click combine them as variant what will happen is figma will create this boundary around them and tell you that these are the uh, variants of a same component okay perfect now i can also name it as like sound wave okay great now the next thing is um, is animating between these variants so i'll go in my prototyping tab and here is the feature that comes in so now i can animate between these two because these are the variants of a same component i can animate between these two so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna drag it to this one and we can do 
instead of on tab we can do after delay and something like 10 millisecond and if you have uh, interactive variants enabled you will get this additional option of saying change to if you if it's not enabled in your system then you will not get this option so make sure that uh, interactive component is enabled and you'll get change to and you'll go to end so this was start and this was end okay so yeah that's perfectly fine instead of instant what we want is we want smart animate so that we can move it and we want to give the maximum time available so 10,000 millisecond is the maximum time that Figma allows and we don't want ease out we want linear because the song moves at a constant the time moves at a constant duration so we want the animation to be linear so what will happen is the sound bars will start moving and they will take 1000 milliseconds to end okay now uh, let me so now this component is done and this is how interactive variant is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what now we have to do is we have to place this actually here in this uh, ui so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my assets tab okay and uh, you will see that you will see sound wave is enabled here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag it here okay click on the design tab center align it and move it basically where we want okay now don't worry about the white color i'll get back to it now what we want to do is go back to the layers property select the artboard and hit the play button and if you see the sound wave is moving and only the intersection where it intersect with that right fill rectangle that we have made with color burn uh, only that portion is getting green so now this is giving us a really nice effect now one thing that you might have noticed that the background is white behind the sound wave and uh, that's a very easy fix to do what we can do is we can go back to our prototype okay and this is the component that we are using here so what we can do is we can uh, come here and select this and you see there is a fill applied to it just remove that fill so oh sorry you don't need to remove that fill actually the background is white black so what we can do is we can just make sure that this background and this background matches so instead of white fill what i can do is change it to black perfect so now if I see again, so the sound wave is moving, it turning green and everything is looking perfect now, right? Only thing is that sound wave is moving a little bit faster. Uh, the reason being we cannot slow it down um, because Figma just allows the maximum of 10,000 uh, seconds, 10,000 milliseconds actually. Uh, between two interaction so that's the maximum speed that you're gonna get but i have a work around it as well it's very simple to actually uh, do it so since this allows only 10,000 milliseconds between two interactions between two states we can create multiple states between these and we can then have maximum 10,000 millisecond delay between those two so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the first one okay start and i'm gonna duplicate it so by clicking command d okay so this is the third variant and i'm gonna just move it up move it down okay so this is the variant third if you see in the left panel but what we can rename it to we can say middle okay and what we can do is uh, so the first thing in the first way the sound wave is way behind okay it's just about to start in the middle one what we can do is we can come to the sound wave and we can make it in center line so like this so some of the wave has passed but it's in the center now in the third the wave has moved out okay now what we can do is we can reconnect this prototype so i'll go to the prototype tab and instead it linking to the delay third type i'll just remove this one i'll select the first one and i'll connect it to the middle one okay so instead of on tap we can do after delay 10 millisecond the way we did before okay smart animate linear 10,000 milliseconds perfect and from here after delay 10 seconds to the end 
linear smart animate 10000 milliseconds so what we have done is from this state to this state now we have 20000 milliseconds of duration now we have doubled the time actually so that's a small trick if you want to make that uh, sound wave move even slow you can create even more states between these two end states and can add the maximum duration and it'll slow down the time okay so let's see how the prototype looks like So if you notice the sound wave is much slow right now because what we have done is we have break down the two states into three states and added additional timing in between them so now it's moving slow but still a little bit fast what you can do is you can again as i told you can add even more states in between and using this figma variant option variant interaction you can create more states and it'll become even slower to the point that it can become exactly like the way it should be okay so guys this was the um, main interaction one of the trick as well as the colored burn trick as well as the interaction between variants so now uh, our task is almost done so we have the entire thing available now what we can do is to make it like even more better we can simulate uh, the play and pause option so to do that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this artboard and i'm gonna add a pause button to it and link these two together so what we can do is we can just move it around like this duplicate this one okay select the um, pause button that we have built exactly aligning with the play button and give the play button a pass through of zero so it will hide okay and what we can do is we can link this to this on tap okay so on tap of the play button it will go to the pause state and from here again back to this okay on tap linear but we don't want this much time what we want is almost 100 milliseconds smart animate and instead of linear we can do ease out same here select this so on tap everything is fine instead of linear we want ease out and we can do basically 100 milliseconds So now let's see how it looks like. So this is how it is. And I'll hit play and pause. So now if you notice, play and pause button is working perfectly fine. But what is happening is the wave, right? The wave is again coming, coming because we have not done anything with the wave. So what what should ideally happen is that once you click the pause button, once you win the pause state, the sound wave should flat down so because there is no music playing it should flat down right so to animate that what we are going to do is we are going to come here to our variants again select the third variant option and duplicate it again and we'll say freeze okay this variant is basically freeze variant and i'll move it down and select sound wave option okay so we now also have now building a freeze variant so what i'm gonna do is come here and select the remove the fill option select the sound wave uh, move them in the middle okay and what we're going to do is we are going to reduce the height of all the rectangles that it contains so we're going to make it select all the rectangles and the height is mixed just give it six okay so now it looks like this make it center aligned now it looks like this select the entire group that contain these waves and center line so now it will represent our flat line of pause okay so guys now that we have created the flat line variant calling freeze when you pause it this should what uh, this is the sound wave that should appear which is basically flat line so what i'm gonna do is now I'm going to show you the another trick that is there for this one uh, for variants. So go to the second artboard where we have the pause state and I'm going to select our sound wave component. Now it is, if you see, you can switch between any component to show up. So right now it's showing start and that's why start has an animation and that's why in the second frame when you're doing pause, 
we are again seeing the sound waves jumping so what we can do is we can come here and switch to another uh, uh, variant so basically now we can choose it to freeze so if you see from here uh, if i go to the prototyping tab all of these three are connected like the start middle and the end but the fourth one is not connected. so there is no animation to it so it's just a simple flat line okay and yeah so now here is the fat line and here is the uh, start component so ideally this should work let's see how it looks like i'll start it again so yeah your sound waves are moving perfect and if i click pause it should flatline perfect so the animation is working perfectly fine if i click it again it starts from there itself right and again i pause it it just uh, becomes flatline so perfect this is how the interaction is so now we are almost done with our interaction like everything is done you can stop at this stage as well but if you want to make it a little bit more better what you can also do is you can uh, animate between these states uh, basically this you can make a variant where you click on it and it becomes red filled selected one and basically next shuffle you can create basically variants for all of these and link it to these different interactions uh, what we can also do is when we click on next we should move to a next song so we can create a new frame and add basically a new image and new song and when you click on it it will move to uh, the new thing so let me just quickly do that i'm not going to explain it because the procedure is the same but let me just quickly do that and show you how it looks like So guys, I have really quickly set up this third artboard where I have just changed the name of the song, the artist and the image. And what we can do is I can just come here, select the next tab and link it to the first one, uh, last one actually. So on tab, navigate to perfect, smart animate, ease out, 100 milliseconds, perfect. Do it from here as well. The same thing. And from here, if I click back, I should have be able to again view my previous song so link this to this and yeah now let's quickly see how our entire prototype looks like so perfect sound waves are coming and changing color and if i hit pause then they are pausing if i hit again it then it again moving play state and if i hit next I see the new song, perfect. If I hit back, I see the Dua Lipa song again, right? So the beauty of this is I created this component once and even in this state again, I'm seeing it moving perfectly fine. So we don't have to create multiple components again and again and they are interacting the same way. So they are the repeatable components. So that's the benefit of having an interactive variants. So guys, uh, that's it for now. I hope you like this video. If you like, do give us a thumbs up and share with your friends and all. And yeah, great. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.